David from the Redneck Garage. Well, today I'm coming at you from the hermetically sealed environment of the lab from the consumer testing division of the Redneck Garage. <laughs> but today I'm going to be talking about a product that you might need or use or have a desire for in the future. And actually, I'm wearing it right here. It's called the iView Glasses. When you're doing videos like we are here at the Redneck Garage or maybe Jerry's channel or Matt at Bleepin' Jeep, um, us smaller YouTube operators that are doing videos for, you know, uh, an audience, it, the hardest part sometimes is to be able to film it. I use three or four different cameras. I've got a regular camera. I've got my cell phone that I can use. I've got um, a Sony uh, action cam that I use for uh, close-in, wide-angle, you know, action-type things. But um, your hands are always doing something with a camera or you got to set it on a tripod. I thought... What better way to film if you could get good video and audio from a pair of glasses that you're wearing on your head, so then you're hands-free. Um, and I tried a couple of the cheap ones, and I'm not even going to review those because the video was so crappy it wasn't even worth looking at. Um, but I did try the iView, and there's some good things and some bad things about them. And let's just go through that, because I was really pretty happy with, um, with the product itself, except for a few things. Alright, so here's what the glasses look like. And originally, I bought the Crossfire 720p uh, eye view glasses. Um, I had to buy the clear lenses separate. It comes with the same, the uh, sunglass lenses. And uh, they look kind of like everybody thinks they're kind of Oakleys. Now, as far as ease of use goes, it's really cool. It's got one button on the side for turning it on, turning it off, and it, re and it records. Um, they feel pretty good on your head. They're not too heavy, and it comes with this strap. Um, it also came with this little case and with a cleaning cloth and a bag and there's the other regular lenses and it's got a, a USB reader there if you want to use that which I've got a different reader but and on the bottom here you can see that it's got a SD card slot and the mini USB slot now what happened with these uh, I did some videos on them and they were uh, pretty good right and to change the time settings and everything you have to connect it to your computer unfortunately um, this mini USB port failed. It's a piece of crap as far as something happened with it. I, you can you can get the glasses to charge, but you have to kind of pull them over to the side. And there's a rubber cover that goes over here, right, that covers up your uh, mini USB and the SD card, maybe from rain or, you know, whatever, and it fell off. And you know what? I don't know. I've... Uh, I've had a lot of mini USB things. This camera is a mini USB that we're using now to film this with, and you know it should be better than that. But anyway, I've only had them to a couple days, so I'm sending them back. I'm dealing with customer service. Um, they didn't say you want a refund. They said you can send them back for uh, repair, and it'll take us a couple days. We'll send it back. So uh, I'll give you a report later on how their customer service went. But I was very disappointed in that aspect of it, right? Um, I can still use them and take videos, but you got to take the SD card out and uh, download it into the computer that way. Um, pretty, as far as like the file system goes on these cameras, it sucks because uh, every time you clear out your SD card, it starts off with the same number. So then you got to um, rename them before you move them to your computer if you've got a lot of videos. Otherwise, you'll have some with the same name. But you can see that the camera's right there, right in the center of the uh, lens. And most people don't even notice it when they're looking at it. Okay, so that's the iView. 720. Now, because of the video quality and the product itself, I decided to go ahead and get the HD model. Um, I shoot everything in HD for YouTube, and you can shoot it in HD and go down to 720 or even 480, but you can't go the opposite way. So that's why I shoot HD, because you never know what you're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll open this one up, and we'll look at the uh, iView in the HD model. Okay, it's a very, very similar product. This is the Horizon 1080p camera glasses, and this one is 180p. Um, it'll also shoot 720. I haven't gone through the software portion of it. I imagine it's going to be pretty similar. I do know that you get a little bit less recording time with this, and the battery doesn't last as long as the 720s, right? And uh, I'm going to go through some comparison videos here in a few minutes. Uh, shot outside of what it looks like. Now, there's a lot of inconsistencies with this iView company when I'm looking at it, right? Um, the 720p, I had to order the clear lenses separately. Uh, on the 1080, it comes with the clear lenses, right? Um, this one, you have to order the SD card separately. On this one, uh, it comes with an SD card. Now, the price difference is about, I want to say, 40 bucks. 
for around forty dollars difference between the HD model. When you actually add in a card and uh, lenses, you're probably close to the same stinking price. So I don't know, but um, they look pretty close in size. The the button's a little different. Um, the lenses are actually the same. It looks like so. The camera comes out just a little bit more, and it is a little bit bigger, if you can see right there on the HD models. But, for all intents and purposes, they're about the same, right? It's a little thicker. The head, the, These are a little bit thicker on the end pieces. So, really, that's kind of the difference between the uh, 720, right, and the 1080p. This is the 1080, and this is 720. And then we're going to do some videos, because that's really going to be the telling tale of the difference between the two shot at the same subject. So, let's get to that. As far as ease of use, <coughs> it is really easy to use. You basically push the button on the side and uh, it starts recording and it gives you a vibration. So we're going to shoot. Man, it's windy here. Okay, so this is the SD quality. You can see that the uh, Jeep is an icicle. There's Shelby girl. There she is. Okay. So we're shooting the Jeep in uh, 720... I hear you. We're shooting the Jeep in 720p. And uh, it is covered in ice. How great is that? And I'm just trying to get the uh, video quality on the same subject. This is the HD model. This is the stuff I cleaned out of my storage bedding I got to throw away before it became an ice pit. And we're going to film the Jeep again in HD. One of the things that you'll find with taking videos with the, with the headset camera is that you look down a little bit more than you're used to looking down. And there's the dog again. <laughs> Shelby. Hey Shelby girl. She loves to play. So anyway, this is the Jeep. The noise canceling portion of these uh, headsets are very good. I've had to do some EQing on the voice because it, it'll pick up uh, the the uh, highs are not as good. But I haven't tested this one yet, so this will be exciting to see the difference between the two headsets themselves. There's a little bit of difference in the um, <coughs> width. I think one is a uh, 135 range of view and one's the 140. Uh, I think the HD is a little bit narrower field of vision than the uh, than the 720s. However, one of the reasons that I picked these glasses specifically is that they are a wide angle glass. That's one of the few that I found that was wide angle. So you can get a lot more in your video frame, a uh, little margin for error, even if you had to crop it or adjust it, you've got a little bit bigger wide thing. If you get one of the other ones, like a parrot glass, um, they're just straight on, and you've got to be looking straight at what you're looking at, and you're going to miss some of the action. So anyway, this is going to be the video from the HD model, as I watch the dogs kill each other. Okay, so, um, wow. <laughs> I did not know that the difference would be that huge between the 720s and the 1080p. You know, I thought 720 was HD, but clearly you can see that um, there was a huge, uh, huge difference between the two uh, formats. Um, these I'm sending back for repair, and I'm going to get them back, and there'll be a backup set for something. But then, you know, when you look at the difference in the video quality, you're kind of like, ugh. <laughs> these, uh, the 1080Ps, the uh, Horizon model, uh, no strap which is really super handy so i'm going to have to find some kind of strap to put on these because it's nice to just hang them around your neck and if you need a camera you throw it up there you hit the record button and you're recording that's super cool to be able to do that these are a little tighter on my head than the uh than the 720s now <clears throat> if i was looking at to purchase one of these i certainly would get the hd model for like 40 50 bucks extra um just for the difference in the video quality and instead of using a micro SD like this one does, which I think is going to be problematic, um, it uses the mini one, which is a you know the little wider one, uh, which I've had less problems in the past from cameras with the with the one that's a little bit bigger connector on these these here. So we'll go through and keep using them. 
uh, and I'll keep you apprised of any difference in it. But I will say this, being a wide angle lens and being able to film something without having to have your hands on it or get action shots, these actually work really, really well. Um, 150 bucks to get HD video with audio. I think that's a no-brainer. If you're doing videos like this on YouTube or you're doing action sports or you're just out driving your Jeep, it's super cool to be able to just hit a button and record what you're actually seeing. So I, I love that portion of it. Uh, I'll continue to use these as well as the other cameras because you can't do everything with one camera. But having it all in HD is really cool. And 720, when I compare the two, doesn't look anywhere as good as the, uh, as the 1080p. But you do have to be a little bit further back. But what it kind of looked like. So that's the report on the iView cameras. I think they're a great purchase if uh, you can get best the quality issues of the 720p. Try a pair. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.